Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another Thanksgiving dish that I absolutely love and it's my sweet potato casserole. This is a must on my Thanksgiving table and to be honest with you, it's probably the first thing to go every single year, even before the turkey. It's so delicious, it's super easy. You guys are gonna love it just as much as I do. If you wanna see how it comes together, make sure you keep on watching. Alrighty, so to make this, you're gonna need your sweet potatoes. This I will walk you through. You're gonna need some marshmallows, vanilla extract, unsalted butter, eggs, and here I have flour, brown sugar, some salt. Um, some heavy whipping cream, granulated sugar, and then a pinch of cinnamon. You're gonna grease your baking pan and then preheat your oven to 350. All right, so my potatoes are nice and soft. I wanted to show you. So what you're looking for is, if your fork goes into your potatoes and it's nice and soft, just like that, you know your potatoes are ready. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna drain them and mash them and you're gonna set them aside to cool. And once they cooled, I'll meet you here. Okay, so into my um, mashed sweet potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar and my vanilla. And you're not going to add salt to this because we salted these while they were cooking. I'm going to give this a nice mash. And then I'm going to go in with, I just want to make sure they're not too hot. Okay. I'm going to go in with your vanilla extract and your heavy whipping cream. The heavy whipping cream is going to make this really nice and fluffy. And then the final step for the filling part is just one egg at a time. Mix it in. And then we're going to put it into our baking dish. So this is the mixture. Hi guys! So I needed to stop the video just for one second because as I was editing, editing it, I realized I never recorded the footage of me putting the topping together. So all I did was combine flour, brown sugar, and the melted butter, and I mixed it all together to kind of create like a um, like a consistency of sand, and then I, that's what I'm sprinkling over the top right now. I'm just a goofball, and I don't know, I either didn't record it, or I deleted the footage, which is probably one or the other, so I apologize for the mess right now, but I needed to tell you what I was putting on there. Using your hand, it's best to do it by hand. Just gonna break up dollops of it and put it over your sweet potato casserole. You can add nuts to this. Walnuts are really great, but I obviously cannot. So we're keeping it very simple. And then final touch. To me, it's not a sweet potato casserole without mini marshmallows. I'm just going to top these over here. And then you're going to put this into your preheated oven, which should be preheated at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until everything is bubbly, bubbly and golden brown. And then you enjoy. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Make sure you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.